Oi! Hey guys, and welcome back to again a sorting algorithm. Today we are going to do bubble sort. In this algorithm, we are going to check if the row is sorted and it clearly isn't. So, if it's not sorted, we are going to look at two characters and switch them if they are out of place. They, these are perfectly in place, these are out of place, so we switch them. The next two characters are out of place, so we switch them. The next two character are, uh, characters are again out of place, so we switch them, and these are in place. We are going to look again if they are sorted, and they are not, if you want to know. So again, we have to look at the first two characters. They are not right from each other. We have to compare the second two ch characters. They are right. We are going to look at the next characters. They are not right. We are going to look to the next characters. They are right. And they are again right. And the row is almost sorted but not entirely sorted. So we are going to again look at the first two characters. They are right from each other. We are going to look at the second two characters and they are wrong from each other, so we switch them. These are also right, these are also right, and these are also right. We look again and our row is sorted. Now how does this work? We are going to look at the code, so I'll be back with the code. Hey guys and welcome to the computer part of this video. As we see, we already started with the list so we can start now. First of all we checked if the list was sorted and uh, we keep kept on checking so we are going to use a while loop and we are going to check if it's sorted. If it's sorted Um, of course, we are going to work until it's sorted, so while it's not sorted. And now we went through the list and we swapped positions. So we are going to f uh, make a for loop, because we know how many times we have to do this. So. We are going to go for each position in range of 1 to the length of our list. Now why 1? Because the next thing we are going to um, look at two positions. And we are going to look at position min 1, minus 1. And we are going to look at position. If we started from zero, the first thing we did was looking at the position minus one, and that doesn't exist. So we start from one, and then we go further. If in our list, the position, the first position, yep, that one was bigger, then in our list, the second position, uh, the, the item on the second position then we would swap them that's the wrong swap then we would swap Oops. we would swap positions with with each other so well actually it's done. We have to test it. But if we test this now, it will give us an error. Because we have no function for check if, so check if sorted and we don't have a function for swap position. So we are going to make swap positions first. So 
we have to swap the positions of our list. Swap position, position one and position two. have to define this function. This is a function actually. I didn't make a video about that yet, but if I make a video I will put it in the card. Yeah, you know where the cards find, nobody uses them, but I will put it there either way. Um, so, we are going to make our swap function. We do this in one line so this is um, something I've seen and it works so we will use this because it's way easier this will just swap it and here we go we have our swap position now we have to check and this is a uh, other position we have to check if the list is sorted and actually for to check if the list is sorted we are going to do um, almost the same as here so I am going to copy that because we are going to look at two items and see if they are the same but instead of here um, instead of swapping the positions we are going to return False. Oh, false is with a big letter. So yes. Um, if we are outside of our for loop, oh, you have to be right here. Yeah. If we are outside of our for loop, everything was right. So we are going to return true. I hope this works um, no wait I did something wrong with the oh okay. yes and it worked so this is the bubble sword it's kind of longer but uh, we needed to write some extra functions to check if it's sorted we did it easily by ourselves when we explained it but the computer has to actually write the function so that's it um let's explain this one more time so um for the bubble sort is actually as long as it's not sorted we are going to do this what is this we are going to look at Two positions we are going to um, check if one is smaller than the other um, if, if one if the first is bigger than the other we are going to swap it that's actually the bubble sort so thanks for watching um, if you like this leave a thumbs up uh, if you want to see more of this subscribe I have also videos about learning to program um, I will make other videos about learning to program in the future and this is actually a sort of series about algorithms because we have to think about them too um, if you want to be a good programmer. I hope you liked it. Until next week. Bye!